What else does a caregiver need? Number four is legal and financial planning. Why? Because being a good advocate, keeping the person with Alzheimer's safe, and keeping family peace are much easier with clear guidelines in place. Some key documents to have in place include a HIPAA release for access to the person's medical records, a power of attorney for finances, who will make financial decisions for the person when he or she is unable, a medical power of attorney, who will make medical decisions for the person when he or she is unable, advanced health care directives, which lay out the person's care preferences in various circumstances. These are variously called living wills, advanced directives, pulsed, physicians ordered for life-sustaining treatment, or MULST, medical orders for life-sustaining treatments, a trust or will to set out other preferences after the person's death, it's possible to execute the necessary paperwork for these things early in the disease process, but it will become much more difficult if you wait until later when mental skills are more impaired. Clarifying things early can save you later stress, legal hassles, and family conflicts. You also want to get familiar with insurance benefits now to see what kind of help you can expect. Also, Look at VA benefits if the person is a veteran or spouse of a veteran and your own employee benefits that might apply to being a caregiver.